For those of you who uh, aren't aware of, of what's been going on this past week, we had 17 participants working um, on producing their own short films in addition to watching films from the American Film Showcase and engaging in a critical discussion about the documentary form. Um, tonight we're going to share with you those films as well as screen Shakespeare High. We have the filmmaker Alex Otaro here with us tonight. And he is going to talk about his oh. film before and after. Yeah, give him a round of applause. <laughs> But as all of you know in filmmaking, um, there are so many people that are often involved behind the scenes and we'd like to acknowledge them very briefly. Um, so our film experts from the States, Alex Ago, Michael Renov, Alex Rotaro, thank you so much guys for bringing your passion and your energy here to Cyprus. Our Cypress Space film experts who um, shared with us their experiences working in the trenches, like Yana Americano, Yatina Arslan, Costas Costaninides, David Hans, and especially David Hans, not that you guys are all aren't important, but David Hans really put in a lot of extra hours to make sure that these films were ready. All of our local partners, um, the Cypress Community Media Center, you can see in 2017 for lending us their grounds tonight my partner in crime, Berenger Blondeau from the International Children's Film Festival of Cyprus, and our faithful uh, sidekick, Amalia Makris. Uh, she works in my <laughs> And as we all know, this would not have been possible without the support um, of the U.S. Embassy here in Cyprus. And we'd especially like to thank Julia Dickstein. Thank you so much. Um, and and to our colleagues, Karen Stefano, Rita, Rita Chivalese, and Melissa Cotton. Um, and on that note, we'll hand the mic over to Keith Peterson, uh, the Public Affairs Officer from the U.S. Embassy. Thank you, Ron. Um, I just wanted to add my thanks first to Michael Renoff and Alex Rutaro and um, Alex Ago for making the long journey from the University of Southern California School of Cinematic Arts. Uh, who all uh, contributed, but of course the stars tonight are young filmmakers here from both communities here in Cyprus who worked together very hard this week uh, on their films and, and uh, we hope that they learned a lot about uh, the process of documentary filmmaking. Uh, we're thrilled of course that Alex Rotaro is here tonight to show his film um, and I would say that um, the American Film Showcase which was offered to us by Washington this was a competitive process, um, and so we're competing against the embassies in London and Tokyo and Paris and Moscow and et cetera, et cetera. And so to get this showcase to come to Cyprus and to get these film experts to come to Cyprus was no easy task. And, and But it's the credit of um, all the various uh, contributors to this who sat down and brainstormed and came up with a really excellent program that captured the imagination in Washington and, and got the people who are running the program to say, yes, we want to come to Cyprus. And so uh, they all deserve our thanks and a round of applause. And now I'll go back to the I know that the American Show Film Case was normally the program was just showing films and I would like really to thank the, the people from Los Angeles that to be so flexible to adapt their program and to implement these workshops because during the film festival we always have workshops and they we took this little what was Keith saying we took this little thing and we adapted and this was really very very nice from you to adapt yourself and to make that running so thank you very very much. It's great to be here. Thank you for being the audience tonight. I think you're in store for an interesting and good evening. But let me say a couple of things about the American Film Showcase and also specifically what we're doing here. When we were able to work together with the Department of State, the Bureau of Education and Cultural Affairs to put together this concept, which is to show American-made documentary films, really good ones, to audiences around the world, we really hadn't thought, as has been said, Alana has said, and Beranger as well, that we would be doing something a little bit different. But because we're a school of cinematic arts, we're prepared to teach. That's what we like to do. That's what we do best. So when the opportunity arose, we thought, this is perfect. 
What I said to our participants at the beginning of the week is almost exactly the same thing that we say in Los Angeles on our campus with our students at the beginning of every semester, which is look around, look to your left, look to your right. The people you're about to be working with this week are likely to be the people you'll work with for the rest of your career here in Cyprus. It's a wonderful place, but it's not very big. The film community is still pretty small. It's intimate. That's, good. That's a good thing. But what I think it says is that don't squander any possibilities. Learn how, learn each other's respective strengths. Maybe someone is better with a camera, someone is, really has an eye for editing. Take advantage of that. I hope the week was something really meaningful because I can tell you that it was for the three of us. You, you always say, and it's kind of a cliche, that you, you learn more from your students than your students learn from you. But I think for all three of us, the two Alexes and myself, I think that's really the case is that we had an opportunity to spend some time, quality time, with uh, 17 or so participants from really different backgrounds, with different experiences, different levels of expertise. None of that really mattered. They all really had an enthusiasm and shared the passion that we brought to this. And whether or not the films are the greatest films ever, this is just the beginning. It's a beginning in a lot of ways. Um, maybe you'll work on this project, maybe you'll work on something very different. But I want you, all of you, to stay in touch with us and to stay in touch with, with each other because that's, that's how it works. You know, at the University of Southern California, we've been teaching film since 1929, and we have more than 10,000 living alumni. And that is a very meaningful thing because They've worked together in the past, and they continue to work together on into the future, and I hope that is exactly what happens here. So, as I said, it's only the beginning. Good luck, and uh, let's get on with the show. If you had, like, really experience, and we would like to maybe hear your comments and your thoughts, and. Lots of different things, so this is a time where you can express yourself. Yeah. It's not mandatory. <laughs> <laughs> but if anybody wants to take this opportunity to say anything, uh, something. Just a big thank you to everybody yeah. because yeah, it's like a starting you. point for us. All right. You were really a fantastic group and we really enjoyed being with you all this week, this week and I hope you will be active citizen in all the cinema field in Cyprus, you know, and we really count on you. So we prepared some certificates that um, Michael and Alex will give to you. Mostly Michael. Michael. And I want to say something else which is that there's this very quaint tradition that we have at the University of Southern California. It's known as the USC Trojans, that's what they're called mascot, I guess. And so we talk about the Trojan family. And I mentioned about the, the 10,000 plus living alumni. So even though you haven't attended USC, I think you're now part of the Trojan family. <laughs> so what we're giving you, just little mementos of that and to remind you of that attachment as you go on from here. So, so And if you see a big horse in front of the gates. So Stephanos, Stephanos. Don't open the, don't open the gates. <laughs> for um, those were the days. The thing is, we got a lot of stuff from what Michael said and what you said, but uh, the most important thing for me was that we shot the documentary we were making and then we came back to the editing suit and it didn't work. Like, at the moment I thought nothing, we were not going to show anything, but then the magic hand of Dave came in and it worked. So I think, and the... The thing I got from this, shoot a lot of B-roll. <laughs> Thank you. It worked very well because I'm planning to study filmmaking. So I really, I was really impatient to f get a feeling of what it is to actually make my own film. And this workshop just was on time and with the right people. And I felt really home. I could express myself, I could do anything I like, 
I was free and um, I really had the taste of uh, making the film. Since we gave the address of the blog, uh, I will uh, check the um, correspondence to that blog and see whether those people would like me to shoot them and keep on adding uh, those little videos to the blog and let everybody know each other's little stories about what they miss about the past. In my uh, personal life, uh, I don't. I, I see everything that we watch or listen as food and. I personally need uh, lots of um, good quality food, but at the same time, positive food. I don't listen to news or I don't read newspapers. Uh, I don't like knowing how many people died in a certain day. And uh, it was very difficult for me to watch those documentaries uh, because they uh, contain lots of um, issues that were kind of negative and um, very difficult to digest. But uh, I thought if I'm here, then there's a reason why I'm, I'm being exposed to these. So I watched them very carefully. But I enjoyed the um, one about uh, footballers. Uh, Undefeated. The other one. Oh, Elevate? Yes, Elevate. About I, a basketball. Yeah, so basketball, sorry, basketball players, because it had a more uh, like cheerful, positive tone. Mm -hmm. And I love the ballroom, the, the little kids in about the ballroom. I guess, I, 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 guess it, it won't, I won't make a very good filmmaker if I can't look at the positive and negative and show to the other people the negative at the same time. To, I realize that I'm really a Pollyanna and I shouldn't be. <laughs> Joshua, Joshua, Enel, Enel, Enel. I think I need more of an education on it, and even just a week with you guys, I've learned a lot. And everything, everything factual that you kind of put across, okay, opinion based, but you've kind of gone, yeah, it's opinion, but this is the right way you do it. And that I've listened to, I've always listened to. Actually, the little things like the education system on the creative side, not on the other side, um, and the idea of individuality in the States, yeah, it's changed. Uh, the film we watched, uh, oh, the 10-year one about the twin towers. Yes, yeah. Rebirth. Rebirth. Um, yeah, that really brought to light, although whatever argument there is for that particular day, I actually found that it was incredibly interesting to see that it doesn't really matter, it was about the people that were affected by it and they were real people. When a nation kind of erupts and we hear just the echoes, we don't actually see the core of the issue. Uh, yeah, I, got, I finally got that core of the issue, which was really good for me. I think it's opened my mind a little bit, you know, in the sense of understanding stuff like that day and in a way what some people do kind of push for. So yeah, it has enlightened me a lot. And Robin, for um, Untitled. I think it was great. I learned many things and people are here that I wasn't expecting to see, like people like I don't know. And on the day I finished a video, they kind of watched it and they kind of laughed at some bits. So I think it's nice. I wasn't having much expectation because I didn't know what exactly we are going to do in this camp. I knew it was about documentary filmmaking, I knew we are going to learn techniques, but it always depends on people you are working with. So I think I have more confidence to do a film module for my degree because I do media and sociology. So I can try to create my own film now. I could see some aspects of America, such as competitiveness and people actually try to be kind of community together, like they are they are missing it, I guess. I think this is, this is giving a sort of insight to people's lives. It was exciting because like I was very like pleased with the fact that I actually got like something really good at the end and shit like that. So I'm happy with that. But yeah, it was a bit difficult. Yeah, it was interesting to see like the documentaries, especially the one with um, the one about the gun violence and stuff. I was very like the interrupters. Yeah, the interrupters. That one was quite 
intense, yeah. but I found that really interesting, like the most intriguing, you know? Okay. Do you think you'll uh, go to film school? Maybe. It's a 50-50 kind of chance. Martinos. The gym. Uh, I was thinking to go more towards the lines of uh, editing, special effects, because I like to create stuff that uh, the imagination can't reach and let people view it. But uh, um, right now I'm uh, like experimenting, I'm uh, going to all directions, I want to see maybe something else suits me better, I already got some skill in photography. Uh, it was great, it was very educational, I took so many things that I needed from here. Uh, I mean, the, I've always admired documentaries since I was a kid, I, was, I used to watch them a lot because uh, uh, the, the, I could I understand them better, I learned from them. And uh, from this experience, I basically, what I needed most to learn was uh, to cooperate, which is uh, a concern flow of mine. So, cooperating is the most important thing, I think, sometimes. Because it's, there's no such thing as a one-man team. You know, if you put two heads are better than one, as they say. It's different to watch them, those movies at home and to watch them with a group and even better with experts. It's a, it's a whole different experience. You get to see details that are that you may not be able to see because you're not that uh, good of an editor um, or producer yet. Mm -hmm. And then you take those experiences and you, you sometimes see through sure the eyes of the creator the and how he sees the um, movie. And uh, Andre. Thank you very much. Very interesting. I learned a lot of things and it wasn't just the filmmaking part of it, it was also about relating with other people from Cyprus and starting something together and even though I had met and I have Turkish Cypriot friends I, I never spent so much time with them and traveling to the north and actually visiting this community of people that is a community of people that we tend to ignore so it was very interesting not just filming it but finding out about those people in the process of filming it. I think all those topics are touched upon through American films in one way or another. But it felt that it felt more real in the sense that it was a documentary and not a scripted fiction film. So it was nice to see real people on camera and not just actors. I want to shake some hands too. Yeah. Nina? <laughs> Thank you. I can't wear it. Yeah, cool. Can I wear it? I learned how to use mm -hmm. uh, Final Cut. Okay. Yeah. And uh, I learned that editing is the hardest thing to do. Like, you gather all the information and you try and work on it. Uh, I'm pretty happy I met some of these people. I like some of the documentaries that they did. Decent effort from the guys. Um, thank you to you. I was planning on writing, but uh, seeing how documentary works, like those incredible shots you get of people saying things that you can't really write, I really like that and hopefully sometime in the future. Any documentary is like a book, right? You learn something new every time. Mehmet? Oh, okay. First group work, the, the chance of, meet, of meeting um, people of other background. Um, you guys, you came from LA. <laughs> I don't know. The, I like the documentaries because it's very specific in America of the American culture. And we kind of get this impression from the movies, but some uh, things are actually in your culture. So it was 
Kind of crowded, but like you get two bags. Oh yeah. Nomad gets two bags. No, no. no. Which one? You get mine. That is Nomad. I want to thank my mother. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, it was great. Like having having um, wanted to be a filmmaker all of my life, but having had really no opportunity um, to be trained in filmmaking techniques in any kind of way. Like I've always been self-taught, even with photography and filmmaking. It was really a great chance to get to meet um, new people, particularly experts who really know what they're doing and to teach us um, what we can do, basically. Thank the Academy. <laughs> it went amazingly, really. I think the past week has been like overwhelming in a good way. Um, when I first, when we first started, I was really scared, honestly, from what I heard, because I've never been involved in filmmaking before. Uh, but once I realized that it wasn't just like a kiddie camp or anything, I was excited because it's the first time that I've felt that this has been something like real and we've produced something that was actually of that was worthy of something to show. And so I think it's definitely something to be proud of and definitely something especially that we were able to have you guys come here. Like, we would have never had something like this in Cyprus, who would have thought? I would have never thought of it before, but I've definitely started thinking in that mode now. Like when we were watching your film, like now I can't stop thinking about editing, about how to shoot one thing, how to shoot this other thing. When I was driving in the car, I was looking at all these shots to find. Like, it's definitely something to think about. For example, the interrupters. Like, I don't, I don't know much about the Chicago area and stuff like that. And I think it definitely gave you a different perspective on different sides to living in America and the difference to living in Cyprus or in any other country. So it was definitely a good thing to show to Cyprus Cypriot audience. I think most people don't even know that this happens. Thank you, Asin. Our youngest, I think. Andreas? No, maybe the two of them are the youngest. Marcos? It was a good experience. Wow. Yeah, close. Yeah. Uh, uh, we became friends with new people, we learned new things, uh, we learned the importance of a car <laughs> because we didn't have any. <laughs> and uh, I really think uh, I will go again, but I had to get a license first. <laughs> because it, it's a torture making documentaries without uh, transportation. No, well, basically, like, I didn't want to do documentaries because I thought like documentary I related it with like National Geographic, like animals and stuff. So I realized there's a lot more into documentaries. I was interested actually. So yeah, I was okay. basically. Who's gonna get a car first? Uh, Him. <laughs> yeah. Nice to have a year. Well, usually we just party at this point, but we actually have something else to do. Another order of business which is oh. to see a really great documentary film by this guy, Alex Rotaru. Did anyone find a camera about <laughs> <laughs> this big, a camera case on one of the chairs? You just have a look. At <laughs> yes. Sorry. Alex, do you want to introduce your film? Yes. <laughs> Wait, we had a moment of drama. I was filming. <laughs> that, that, that was a very quick happy ending right there. Every kind of cultural activity from influencing public opinion to revealing whether you're a journalist or you're just putting something on YouTube, I think it's extremely important to acknowledge the relationship between uh, reality and this medium of film, although nobody here has worked on film, we've all worked on these little gadgety cameras that can go pretty much anywhere. And this movie you're about to see is um, about a political and social battle, but it's just an offshoot of it that goes on in America about arts education and, and edu funding for education. And it's something that applies, I think, in a lot of parts of the world, and I hope that it applies here. I think it does. Um, but I'll let the movie speak for it. It's about how arts education can heal communities and give the kind of self-confidence that nothing else can.
And, and if it skips, we're going to use a DVD. But I, we have the very high quality file, and we'll see if it works. If not, don't forget me. Enjoy. Don't applaud. Applaud at the end. <laughs> yeah, don't. <laughs> <laughs>